5 Most Oddly Operating Computers Many oddities have been made available to the public by computer makers during the course of computing history. Take a look at a number of the most bizarre computer design concepts that actually made it to market. If anything, over the past five decades, computers have altered in unexpected ways. Every year, machines became more powerful. PC technology giants came and went. Software producers won and lost battles for market supremacy. The urge to be noticed, though, appears to be the only thing that hasn't changed. We've put together a list of peculiar computer designs that are, to put it mildly, curiosities. 1. Holborn 9100, 1981 During the early days of desktop computers in the late 1970s and early 1980s, there was still no set rule for computer design to adhere to. Because they were still novelties, people's fantasies roamed freely. A product manufactured by the Dutch business Holborn, which stands for Born in Holland, is specifically one from that innovative time period. The 1981 release 9100 resembles a prop from a retro-futuristic film. The monitor, which is joined to the case by a lengthy arm, mimics an extraterrestrial's eye. The device was distinct from what customers were being offered by current market leaders in the PC space like Commodore, Apple, or TRS. The Z80 processor in the 9100 and its larger brother, the 9200, did not make them stand out from the competition. Holborn sold only 200 units, and the business failed in 1983. 2. ISSYA 7301, 1976 Fewer attempts to combine books and machines have been one of the computer industry's most significant advances. But that wasn't the situation in the late 1970s. ISS YAW 7301, also known as a computer in a book, was thus created in 1976. The YAW 7301 was a teaching computer with a tape recorder for storing software and an Intel 8080 microprocessor, 1 kilobit of ROM, and an identical amount of RAM. Most intriguingly, however, ISS packaged a 250-page programming course with the device. The device was incorporated into a booklet. 3. Seiko UC 2000, 1984 Before smartwatches became commonplace, Seiko, a Japanese watch and electronics manufacturer, unveiled a hybrid that was a cross between a calculator, a computer, and a watch. The gadget looked like it belonged in a James Bond movie. The pocket-sized keyboard was designed by Seiko with the intention of being utilized to interact with the gadget. The watch was controlled by the UC2200 terminal, which had a specifically designed transmission circuit and included a spool-fed printer, 4K of RAM, and 26K of ROM via an add-on application ROM pack. The transmission circuit was monitored by the watch, which gave the gadget more computer-like features than watch-like ones. 4. Packard Bell Corner Computer, 1995 The Packard Bell Corner Computer, which was introduced in 1995, is exactly what its name implies. It's a computer designed to be placed in a corner. The cornered computer was a typical mid-90s device, sporting a Pentium CPU, 64 MB RAM, floppy, and CD drives in each corner. The device was not among the most affordable ones. At the time of its release, the entry-level model cost more than $2,000. The key selling feature, according to Packard Bell, is that it is, the first desktop engineered to fit into a corner, not the interior. A good concept poorly executed by Packard Bell. Unsurprisingly, all slots were located at the computer's back to prevent the cords from protruding from the front of the device. That meant it couldn't be placed neatly in the table's corner as the designers had intended. Unless the tabletop is in the center of a room without any nearby walls. 5. Compact Presario 3020 1995. The 3020 was introduced around the same time as the corner computer, and it appears that both products designers wanted to break up the bland beige aesthetic of PCs from the 1990s. The computer was built to fit everything on itself, not to fit into the corner. The sound system, monitor, and PC case were all crammed into a retro-looking gadget from the 1990s. The computer comes equipped with Windows 95, a 166 MHz Intel Pentium processor, and up to 128 MB of additional RAM.